So today we're going to calculate the molar mass of silver sulfide. So what I'd like to do first is just use this particular table. Bam. So the first thing I need to do is fill in the elements that I see in my formula. So I see silver, so I'm going to write down silver. I also see sulfur, so I'm going to write down sulfur. The next thing is I need to know the number of atoms of each particular element in this compound. That's where the subscripts come into play. So this two down here tells me that I have two silvers. So I'm going to write two in here. And then there is an invisible one at the bottom of sulfur, so I know I have one sulfur. What we're going to do is we're then going to take the number of atoms there and multiply it by the mass of each particular element now. We need the periodic table for this, so why don't we look at it. So here's the periodic table over here, and it looks like silver is about 107.87. Now, if you're doing this in uh, molar mass, those units down there are going to be in grams per mole. If this is molecular mass, then it will be in AMU, aka atomic mass unit. And there's also the value of sulfur, 32.07. So let's write those down. So we got 107. 107.87, and then we had 32.07. Now all you have to do is multiply these rows on, rows on a cross. So when we do that, we come up with an answer here of about 215.74, and then obviously this just works out to be 32.07, and then what we're simply gonna do is add those total masses together now to find the total mass of the entire compound. So when we add those values together, we're gonna get about 247.81, now, if you're solving for molar mass, the units here are grams per mole. And that's it. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. I hope this helps. Please help us out by subscribing, and I'll see you soon. Take care.